Adventure and so we're a little out of practice. Yes, it's been a hot minute. Yes, but I mean, we have left the house before we were supposed to, so that's good. Well, so because somebody somebody forgot to grab the backpack with the cameras in it. That is not true. I didn't say who. <laughs> I was just pointing. <laughs> so we are, even though we've had to go back to the house, we're still ahead of schedule, which is like not like us. So it's a whole new us, y'all. <laughs> no, same old, same old people. <laughs> so we're really, really excited. When Addie was away at camp, she learned some kayaking, and so. Yep. She's been really excited, so she's going to kayak alongside us as we dump the canoe over and over again. <laughs> A lot of faith from you. <laughs> I just, we'll see. And so, and on top of that, like all week, the forecast was perfect for today. And this morning, Alexa broke the news to us and told us. Expect a thunderstorm. <laughs> like, ah! So, we'll see what happens. Might be high seas on the creek. <laughs> You'll see. Well, we'll, we'll just see what happens. But yeah. here we go. We are excited to uh, adventure again. And Finally. This is kind of the tip of the iceberg. We need yes. to get our practice because we are in the middle planning our next several adventures. Well, we've been, we've been super busy this summer. I mean, of course, we've been taping shows and we, you know, we've been building on the deck and getting it going so that we can have the deck all built before we leave again <laughs> and um, of course miss Anne's going to be going you know back into her schoolwork and everything so it's like let's just take a day yes. and not blog and not take videos and not work on the deck <laughs> and go canoeing so yeah. we're going to show y'all uh sugar creek which is i think where we're going is more in park county indiana so it's okay. in the area of Turkey Run State Park. Yeah. I don't know. Will we be in the state park? Uh, I think we float around. We it. might float yeah. through it or something. But Turkey but. Run State Park is one thing that Indiana is pretty known for. Like if you live in Indiana, you pretty much know about Turkey Run State Park. And um, well, at least Central Indiana. Us yeah. Southerners didn't go there. Well, that. you're technically almost Kentucky. <laughs> uh, where we're going? Uh, when I was a kid. My dad used to pack up the family and rent this cabin that was on the creek and we'd like go for like a whole week in the summer and then we'd try and go back in the fall again and uh, do a lot of fishing, a whole lot of catfishing, a whole lot of noodling. I'm, I'm just going to leave it at that. Do y'all know what noodling is? If you do, leave it in the comments below. Have you ever noodled? And, and I'm talking about fishing. So if you're thinking of something else, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about, talking about fishing, what noodling is. And... I don't know that I should do that today because I no. really found out that in Indiana it's technically not a technique that's recognized by state law. So we definitely will not be doing that, officer. <laughs> yeah, or at least we won't tape it. But anyway, no. um, I brought my pole, so I might do a little fish mower out there and show y'all just some of the stuff that I grew up, um, that, that was our way of you know partying was well and fishing. Addie hasn't seen Sugar Creek not at least no that that's area. she's never gone so to the that's place. gonna be kind of fun yeah. so we're excited about that so here we go here we go to Sugar Creek and Clement's Canoes follow the burrito <laughs> eat the burrito
You ready, Addy? Yep. <laughs> We're waiting. Someone made us go a little too early. So now we just have to sit here in this hot truck. It's not hot. Oh, yeah. It's and not it's hot. Heated. It's pretty. It's pretty out here. It's peaceful. I'm at one with nature while I'm here. <laughs> Let's hope not. <laughs> well, we arrived. Sort of. <laughs> In when when we pulled in, I saw the sign that had the canoe on it, but it turns out that was the campground, and we sat there for about 20 minutes going, where's everybody at? And then we heard some commotion on the other side of the creek, and come to find out, Boy, this is where it. we're supposed to you be. You gave a certain version of that story. I kept saying, this doesn't feel right. There's and a I big kept saying, parking. this is the place. This I is the place. I kept saying, there's a big parking lot with lots of canoes. I know this. And he says, no, we're in the right place. There were no boats. I mean, where the boats at? <laughs> So, I said, well, just on the 1% chance I'm wrong. <laughs> so, <laughs> so here, here we, we are. are. <laughs> so, here in about, I don't know, about 10 minutes or so, we'll be jumping in a van. They'll be hauling us up the creek without a paddle. <laughs> I guess they give us the paddles there. And then we're going to go canoeing. And hopefully, when we get in the water, they don't look like this. <laughs> here we go. Are you having fun, Daddy? I am. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Woo! Oh my gosh! We made it! Okay, how we doing, crew? I ain't got no fish yet. Well, how you doing, Ad? Pretty dry. That's a good sign. Yeah. <laughs> don't don't tempt fate. Uh, we're headed towards. We're we're. It's hard to fish. No. I'm recording. <sighs> Teamwork. <laughs> Get fast. Get fast. <laughs> Any words of wisdom there from the back seat? Listen to the front seat driver. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. A little bit ago, we realized we had to get out of the canoe in order to get the canoe down the creek because it's so shallow. And I got out first, and then Chris got out, and one leg went one way with the canoe, and the other leg went the other way. And I so wish I would have got her on. He dumped me on purpose. And she's blaming me because evidently I was supposed to be holding the boat. Right there. If you can see it back there behind that tree line is the cabin that we used to stay at when I was a little kid. Doesn't look like it's been taken care of in a long time, but it's an old, old log cabin. Looks like the roof might be collapsing in on it, but there's a lot of good memories of fishing right there, that's for sure. This is Chris trying to figure out how to get into a kayak. We've been watching this for five minutes. <laughs> Come on! This could be 
epic. There we go. All right. Good job, baby. Woo. Now what? <laughs> She's stuck. <laughs> so we've been paddling now for about two and a half three hours we're about halfway through the trip and we've learned that canoeing is definitely a lesson in teamwork and with that being said we kicked chris out of the boat and put addy ahead as the head of the boat and well we seem to be doing pretty good either she can't hear me or she's extremely ignoring me right now Yep, she's ignoring me right now. It's peaceful, it's a little shallow, so we've had to get out of the boat quite a bit and drag the boat across the shallow way, uh, the shallow areas and a couple sandbars because I navigated the wrong way. Maybe that's why Chris got out of the boat. And uh, we did real good until we come down that set of ripples right there, which pulled us right into that tree. And then we went upside down and we're soaked. Good lesson, and that's why you wear your life jacket. Right, Ad? Yeah, and also I tried to do like a limbo and then I fell over. Yeah, literally a limbo. So. We're gonna to try to go back at it and dry off on the latter half of the trip. And that's the site we wanna see. We get to that bridge, that means our 10 mile trip is complete. And we're kinda of pooped. 10 miles is a long way in shallow water. So that was 10 we were, miles. We were a little ambitious. Yeah, I think when we were younger, it, I think we did the five mile trip. And so I thought, oh, 10 miles, it's only four hours. It was almost six hours. We almost and, didn't make it back yeah, before we, they closed. Well, our butts kept getting stuck on the rocks. It's a little shallow in the middle of August. Yeah. So, um, well, it makes it hard to net. It's kind of like, well, scooting across the parking lot pretty much in a canoe, but. But we had lots and lots of fun. Yeah, we were poking fun, you know, about the whole team exercise, but we did good. And Miss Ad, we're super proud of her because she did half of that trip on her own in the kayak. And, and that was no easy feat. No. and it was, I thought oh, she was making it look easy, and I thought, oh, no big deal. And I started doing it. I was like, no wonder she can't keep up. Okay, that sounds like you're peeing. Um, it's, it's the cooler, it's I promise. The cooler. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we are um, hungry and tired and ready and, to go home. And, and I'm holding this camera. My shoulders are sore. Yours but are. <laughs> it was kind of fun watching her spinning in circles in a kayak. I'll give you that. But <laughs> so we're gonna go uh, get something to eat. And you know, if if you like this, I hope we do you do because you're about to see a whole bunch more coming up here in a couple months. Lots of plans. Whole bunch of plans going on, and it's gonna be fun. <laughs> but uh, if you like what you're seeing, again, give us a like down below. If you have not become a member of our loving little family, we call the Croc Posse. 
click the subscribe button down below and if you want to know as soon as we put up a video click the ding -a -ling, that little bitty bell next to the subscribe button and whatever you do laugh often eat good food and speak life love you guys bye, bye. if you want to see the latest click on the left right here if you feel like subscribing click on the right my dear and if you think we're funny enough to send us money click the